So hello guys, welcome to our channel, Run Basic. So let us have more examples of how to solve your rational equations. Or again, we are solving for x. So we have here in the board your equation x over x plus 2 minus 1 over x minus 2 equals to 8 over x squared minus 4. Okay? So of course, as basic and as a fundamental step, let us identify your LCD. So for us to identify your LCD, let us first look at your denominators. So the denominators are x plus 2. Then we have x minus 1. Then we have x squared minus 4. Okay? So we have three denominators, different denominators. So without much ado, let us focus on x squared minus 4. So x squared minus 4, as you can see, is a difference of two squares. Difference of two squares. So this one. Difference of two squares because the first term is perfect square. And the uh, second term is also a perfect square. Its original form is x squared minus 2 squared without your minus sign. Okay? So this is the form of x squared minus 4. So x squared then minus 2 squared. So first term is for uh, first term is a perfect square as well as the second term. So the factors of your perfect uh, the factors of your difference of two square is the difference and the sum of a binomial. This one. We have x plus 2 and x minus 2. So sum and difference of two binomials. So if you can see your x squared minus 4 in factored form is x plus 2 times x minus 2 or you can check using your FOIL method or distribution method so multiplying x plus 2 and x minus 2 will give you this product so x squared minus 4 again factored form is x plus 2 and x minus 2 so if you can see we have identical terms we have the quantity of x plus 2 and x minus 2 okay so to identify your LCD just put x plus 2 once and x minus 2 so we will just copy the common so the common are x plus 2 so we have 2x plus 2 again we have 2x plus 2 just copy one or use one for our LCD as well as we have x, plus, uh, x minus 2 and x minus 2 so we will write 1 or once of x minus 2 as our LCD. So all in all, your LCD is x plus 2 and x minus 2. Okay, so step number 2 again is multiply LCD to the whole equation. Okay, so copying your whole equation, we have x over x plus 2 minus 1 over x minus 2 over uh, equals 8 over x squared minus 4. So if someone is asking why we didn't use your cross multiplication. So cross multiplication will not be applicable in this kind of example or rational equation. Okay, so we will stick to the basic, identify your LCD, then multiply your LCD to your equation to eliminate your denominator. So let us multiply. Okay, so to multiply it, just follow my steps. So we have x plus 2 as our denominator of our x in here. So just cover x plus 2 and x plus 2 because we will multiply this 2 quantity to x. So we have x times x plus 2 times x minus 2 divided by x plus 2. On our last video, 
Just cover your x plus 2. So the remaining LCD is x minus 2 and the numerator is x. So I will write it in here. Again, over x plus 2, x plus 2, so we have x minus 2 remaining, then your numerator is x, and the remaining LCD to be multiplied is x minus 2. Okay, then minus over x minus 2, so we have remaining LCD of x plus 2 and 1. So we have 1 times x plus 2. Again, over x minus 2, so we have x plus 2, then 1. So we have negative or minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 2. Then we are here at equals. Equals, so we have x squared minus 4. So again, to remind you, x squared minus 4 and x plus 2 times x minus 2 are equals, this one. So you can write your x squared minus 4 in here as x plus 2 over x minus 2 in case that you will get. Okay? So, over it. So, what is the remaining value? So, we have 8. Okay. So, if you can not believe it, so just multiply your two quantities, is your LCD to each of the numerator, then divide it by your denominator, and you will arrive on this form. So, as you can see, we have this one, x times the quantity of x minus 2, minus, uh, minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 2 equals 8. So, we don't have any denominator. Again, that is the reason why we multiply LCD on our whole given rational equation uh, for us. It is for us to eliminate all the denominators or simplify all the denominators for us to solve it easily. Okay, now let us proceed. So we have to follow the Chandler's rule or the Pendler's rule. So we have here your quantity, x minus 2 times x, so we have to distribute. So x times x is x squared. Okay? x squared. Then we have x times negative 2. So we have negative 2x. Then we have negative 1 times x is negative x. And negative 1 times positive 2 is negative 2. Bring down equals 8. Then we have to combine like terms. Combining like terms in here, so we have x squared minus 2x minus x is negative or minus 3x minus 2 equals 8. So, what now? So for this kind of equation or form, we will equate your, or make your equation equal to zero, or shall we say, we are on the quadratic form of equation. We have a quadratic degree, because we have here the highest exponent is two. So, uh, the degree, the degree of your equation will imply the maximum number of solutions or root or zeros of your equation, okay? So when we are solving for the zeros of your equation, we are solving for the solution. Again, solving the zero of the equation is like solving the solution or the roots of your equation. So again, Let's make it to zero or make it equal to zero. So therefore, we have x squared minus 3x minus 2 minus 8. Okay? So we have to simplify x squared minus 3x minus 2 and minus 8 is minus 10 or negative 2 plus negative 8 is negative 10. Okay? 
To continue, again, we are on the general form of your quadratic equation. So, equal to zero, and we will solve for the zeros of the roots of your equation. So, we will solve it by this one. By factoring. Again, the number of factors and also the, the number of degree. Okay? Can also be. So, we have x times x as the factor of x squared. Then we have to find for the factor of negative 10, which will sum up to negative 3. So what are the factors of 10? Okay, so we have 10 and 1. Then we have 5 and 2. So we uh, go back to 10 and 1. So add 10 and 1 is yes, 11. If we subtract 9. So we are finding for the sum of difference of 3. So this one, 5 plus 2 is 7. 5 minus 2 is 3. So we have a hit. Okay, so 5 and 2. 5 and 2. If you multiply, it will become 10. If you subtract or add, so in this case we have to subtract, we have 3. So subtract uh, amplifies your operation between the two binomials. And this is negative. What are the factors of a negative number? Of course, unlike signs or positive and negative. So where is the positive and where is the negative? Just look at the sign of the mid, uh, middle term. So the middle term has a sign of negative. So put negative on the bigger number. So the bigger number between 2 and 5 is 5. And plus in here. So negative 5 times positive 2 is negative 10. And negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Okay? Then, let's equate it to 0 to solve for your roots and your possible solution. Okay? Equate both factors to 0. So we have now x equal to 5. Isolating your x on the other side of your equation as well as this one, x equal to negative 2. Isolating your x on the left side of your equation. So we have two solutions or possible solutions. Or shall we say we have two zeros uh, for our equation or two roots which are 5 and negative 2. At some books, you will find x sub 1 and x sub 2 or either x sub 1 and x sub 2. Okay? So now, let us check if this roots or zeros of your equation uh, is a solution of your rational equation. So let us first use x equal to 5. x equal to 5. Copying your original equation, we have x and over x plus 2 minus 1 over x squared minus 2 equals to a over x squared minus 4. Then, substitution where the value of x is equal to 5, so we have 5. Then we have 5 plus 2 minus 1 x equal to 5 minus 2 equals to a. Then x equal to 5 squared minus 4. Then, simplify, so we have 5 over 7 minus 1 over 5 minus 2 is 3. Then we have 8. 5 squared is 25 minus 4. Simplify. Okay, so let's try first the other side of your equation. So A, here we have 25, our denominator 25 minus 4 is 21. Okay, on the left side we have 5 over 7 minus 1 third. So let's use the LCD because we cannot subtract or combine 5 over 7 and 1 third because they are this similar fraction or shall we say their, their denominator is unlike or not similar. So we have this LCD. 
or if you don't know the LCD, just multiply your denominator and just reduce it to lowest term later. So we have 7 times 3 is 21. What number did you multiply to 7 to make it 21? So you multiply 3. That number 3 will be also multiplied to 5. So 3 times 5 is 15. If you have your calculator, the value of 5 over 7 in decimal is also equal to the value of 15 over 21 in decimal. So they have different form but they have the same value. Okay? So what number did you multiply to 3 to make it 21? So we have multiplied 7. So let's multiply it to 1. Then we have 15 minus 7 over 21 equals to 8 over 21. So 15 minus 7 is 8, of course. Copy your denominator and that is 21. Okay? So to pause is 8, well, 8 over 21 equals to 8 over 21. Of course, that is true. Therefore, x equal to 5 is a solution of your given rational equation. Okay? Again, because this we verified that this is true, therefore, x equal to 5 is the solution of your given rational equation. Okay, let us check x equal to negative 2. So we have negative 2. Let us substitute on our original equation. Negative 2, then we have negative 2 plus 2 minus 1. Then negative 2 minus 2 equals 8 over x squared negative 2 squared minus 4 okay okay so negative 2 so I hope you can see it okay negative 2 so, negative 2 plus 2 is 0 minus 1. Negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4 equals, this is 8, 8 over negative 2 squared is 4 minus 4. Simplifying, we have equals negative 2 divided by 0 is undefined. Okay, and define. And here we have 4 minus 4, which is also 0. So we have here undefined. Okay, so we have uh, verified that at x equals to negative 2, our equation will become undefined. Okay, again. We have verified or checked that at x equals to negative 2, our equation will become undefined. So we can say that x minus 2 should not be a part of our solution. Okay? Should not be a part of our solution or it is called as extraneous root. Again, negative 2 is an extraneous root. So 5 and negative 2 are the roots of your equation. But the only solution is 5 and negative 2 is not part of the solution. So we can say that 5 is the solution. Again, x equal to 5 is a solution of your rational equation. While x, minus, uh, x equal to negative 2 is just the root. And it is called as an extraneous root, root. It's part of the root, but not part of your solution. So I guess we are clear on this example. Okay, so for our next example, we have 
x minus 6 over x squared minus 4 x minus 12 plus 2 over x plus 2 equals 1 over x minus 6. So if you can see the expression or the term x minus 6 over x squared minus 4x minus 12, we have a denominator of x squared minus 4x minus 12. Okay? So first step is to identify your LCD. So identifying your LCD is looking at our denominators. We have x squared minus 4x minus 12. Then another denominator is x plus 2. Then another one, we have x minus 6. Okay. So most of your teachers uh, will give such examples as this one where this kind of denominator, x squared minus 4x minus 2, and the other, the other denominators are his or its factors such as x squared minus 4x minus 2 in factor 4 is the factor of x squared is x times x and the factor of negative 2 is plus minus what are the factors of sorry this is not negative 2 from our given this is negative 12 so what are the factors of 12 that when you subtract becomes 4 or when you add, it became 4. So we have 3 times 4. So 3 times 4 is 7 or 1. Okay? We have 2 times 6. So I put 6 on the minus sign because your symbol or sign in here in your middle term is negative. So positive 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. And negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4 so if you try to look at it x plus 2 and x minus 6 as the denominators of the other terms is just like the factor of the denominator of the first term okay so in identifying your lcd we will use x plus 2 and x minus 6 as your lcd Okay, just write the common one. So common. Okay. Next step is to multiply. Multiply your LCD to the whole of your equation. Okay, copying your equation x minus 6 over x squared minus 4x minus 12 plus 2 over x plus 2 equals equals 1 over x minus 6 multiplying we have x plus 2 and x minus 6 sorry so we have x plus 2 in here okay so multiplying we have x minus 6. So how did I come up with x minus 6? This x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to your denominator. So over, over. So what's the remaining? We have your numerator x minus 6. Plus x plus 2 over x plus 2 over x plus 2 over the remaining is 2. Okay? So over x minus 6. Okay, equals, what's in here? x minus 6, so over x minus 6. So the remaining is 1, your numerator and your LCD is x plus 3. Okay, to be more, uh, making it more short, shortcut, we will immediately remove 1 because multiplying 1 to our quantity x plus 3, product will still be x plus 3. Any number multiplied to 1 is equal to that number. Okay? So simplify, we have 
x minus 6 plus 2 distribute we have 2x and minus 12 tapi x plus 3 then combining like terms combining like terms we have x plus 2x then x will become minus x or they're saying it is transposition but we are using the subtraction property of equality so minus x in here x will be eliminated so again your equal symbol is a balance if you have diminished minus x so minus x on the other side then all the constants should be transferred or put on the other side of your equation to isolate x on the other side so we have bring down positive 3 then we have minus 6 will become plus 6 by addition property of equality then we have minus 12 so plus 12 so again we are, we are using the inverse of your operations so x plus 2x minus x is 2x uh, x and 2x is 3 minus 1x is 3x or here we have 2x so x minus 2x we have 2x and we have 3 plus 6 plus 12 so we have 8 uh, sorry we have 9 plus 12 Okay, so it is not 3 in here, it is 2, sorry. From here, we have to over x minus 6, x minus 6, so we have 1 times x plus 2. So sorry, I did copy x plus 3, but the correct quantity is x plus 2. So we have x plus 2, then we have 2 in here, not 3. Okay, so we have 2x again, let's go back, so we have 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 12, so we have 20. So combine, then we have to divide both sides by 2. So let's transfer your equal sign here, so we have x equal to 10. Okay, so let us check whether your root or the zero or shall we say your x equal to 10 is a solution of your rational equation or not so checking where x is equal to 10 so let's copy your original equation x minus 6 over x squared minus 4x minus 12 plus 2 over x plus 2 equals to 1 over x minus 6 Okay, substitute x is equal to 10, so we have 10 minus 6. Your denominator is 10 squared minus 4 times 10 minus 12. Okay, just do the substitution. Plus, we have 2, then x is equal to 10, so we have 10 plus 2. Okay, then on the other side of your equation, we have 1, x is equal to 10 minus 6 simplifying we have 10 minus 6 10 minus 6 is 4 then we have 10 squared is 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 10 or shall we say minus 40 or negative 40 minus 12 plus copy 2, 10 plus 2 is 12, then we have 1, 10 minus 6 is 4, okay, so we have 1 fourth on the other side of your equation, this is 4, this is 4, then we have 100 minus 40 minus 12, so 100 minus 40 is 60 minus 12, we have 48, plus 
Okay, you can use your calculator. Plus 2 over 12. Okay? Simplifying 4 over 48 in lowest term. Okay. 4 over 48 is the common between 4 and 48, of course, is 4. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 48 divided by 4 is 12. 12 times 4 is 48. Plus 2 over 12 equals to 1. So, continuing this, we have equals to 1 fourth. Continuing to the other side. Okay? So, 1 over 12. 1 over 12. And we have 2 over 12. Or shall we say, we can add it right away because 12 is common. Or we can say that 1 over 12 plus, and 2 over 12 are similar fraction. So we can add 1 plus 2 is 3. Okay, 12. Okay, 3 over 12 equals to 1 fourth. True or false? So false because uh, we should reduce it to lowest term. So 3 and 12 is the common of 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3 is 4 equals to 1 4. So we can say that 1 4 is equal to 1 4. True or false? So true. Therefore, x equal to 10 is our solution. Okay? So simple as that. I guess you have learned something from this video. Thank you.